Hello, eighth graders. My name is Ron Hamlin from Virtual Reload. We are an esports company, and esports is a somewhat new term, but basically what that means is um, it's competitive video gaming. So you have games like League of Legends or Madden or Super Smash Brothers, um, Fortnite, all these games where there is a competition between the um, one side or another, and um, players come together against each other, whether that's individually or in teams, and they compete. There are tournaments that you can go through. There are professional teams that pay players to do this. And there are also colleges that are giving scholarships. Um, so our company focuses on coaching and hosting tournaments. And we do all of this at the high school, middle school level so that when you graduate from high school that you can also potentially earn a scholarship at a college or um, the skills that we give you or train you in will hopefully allow you to um, maybe get recruited to a professional team. So I'm here today to talk about what it, kinds of things you can do for a career in esports, because playing the game is not the only thing available to someone that wants to do this. Um, there are actually a lot of positions available in esports that are already existing in either a sports world today or um, like with video production, with announcing the game, shoutcasting, and that sort of thing. Um, also, as far as the um, like uh, graphic design, that, that sort of positions. So um, I'm going to show a page um, on my screen here that's going to talk about some of the numbers that come along with these careers. And I'm also going to send this electronically to your teacher that they can hopefully share with you on that. Um, so I am the owner of this company um, and I have been creating um, a network of coaches to help our, our clients um, get better at their games. Um, we do run tournaments on a pretty regular basis. We just had uh, one on Saturday, a Madden tournament. Um, we ran that fully online. So this is also something that is adaptable and can be still run in today's situation. Sorry about that interruption. So um, I'm going to go ahead and share the uh, screen of the, the, the uh, careers here. Let me make sure it's sharing. Come on. Share screen too. So what you can see here is you've got the um, coaching positions. Um, you've got any, every, basically every same level that you would have with um, regular sports you have in eSports. So you've got your assistant coaches, you've got your head coaches, um, and this also includes the um, physical training, um, the nutrition, things like that. We'll get into that a little bit later too, but um, you're, you're looking to keep the players um, from injury. That in, those injuries would include things like carpal tunnel, things like that. Um, so you want to do the stretches and everything. So you're looking anywhere from 37,000 to 65,000. The things that we're looking for in coaches are people who um, are really, really good at a particular game so that they can teach someone else to get to the same level that they are at. Um, so that's what that's looking at. Um, then you've got your announcers. Um, that we, that in the world of esports, it's called a shoutcaster. And they are the person that is calling the play-by-play -play event that's happening in the tournament, in the, in the game competition. So you're looking at soccer, football, baseball, any of those kinds of sports where um, you've got the people that are talking about what's happening on the field. The same thing happens in esports. Um, so there's a guy in in uh, Columbia, South Carolina, that works with me. His name is Jordan Fitzpatrick. His screen name is FBI Tugboat, and he is a pretty amazing, um, pretty amazing at shoutcasting. I'm actually going to be linking some videos that you guys can sample um, for what that sounds and looks like. Um, so you're looking at 39 to 75 thousand for that position. However, um, the hot, really, really high end announcers who make money on a regular basis, they are the ones that are coveted, the people who everyone else wants to have come and do their game. Um, you can talk about quarters of millions of dollars a year to, to be at that level. You've also got your, um, the things that, that really helps, the kind of level of education that really helps for a shoutcaster is a degree in communications or broadcasting, something along those lines where you have that, you know, you may wanna be on the radio um, in, a, in a radio personality, anything along that line of, you know, using your voice to create on the fly content is really good for this. 
And you've got your video producer, videographer, content creator um, from a perspective of actual video, if you will. Um, this is something I actually did on this weekend myself, which was pretty cool learning how to, how to do that. When you have that level of training, again, you've got your film or broadcasting type of degree. You can earn fifty-two to seventy-two thousand dollars in that in that field. You've got your fitness and personal trainer. These are the people that are keeping the players fit through a process of working out in the gym, telling them the right kinds of foods to eat, the diet, all of that. Your out of shape gamer, your overweight gamer, if you will, who is not eating right, is going to be more sluggish, more tired. Reaction times are going to be slower. So we want our players to be fit, as fit as possible to be able to perform at their top level. And that is anywhere from, look, 29,000, 85,000. So uh, that is all I have written out. Um, but the rest of this is talking about, <clears throat> let me just stop the share for a second here. Get me back on screen. Uh, so that's what we're looking at for the careers. Um, basically in esports. Then you've got your actual gamers, um, the people who are playing the games. <clears throat> they are talking about, um, I do actually have a graphic of that too. Where did it go? Well, the payouts, you've, you've probably saw the Fortnite competition in the summertime in July. 16 year old Kid Booga won $3 million playing Fortnite. Uh, and then Dota 2 played, set another record. The top team there won about $3 million a piece, $15 million for the team of five total. <clears throat> so you've got all kinds of levels. And then with college um, scholarships that are out there, you're looking at schools like Erskine, Coker, Mars Hill, Belmont Abbey, uh, USC, Sumter Union, Newberry College. And there's, um, there's 150 schools around the nation that are, that are doing this as well. And they are providing scholarships for students to come and play esports at their school. Um, these scholarships are just like a football, uh, football, baseball, soccer, volleyball, any other scholarship you look at for sports is done for esports. They're looking for a way to continue to bring in students, continue to be relevant to today's world, and esports is one of those ways that they're doing it. So they do definitely um, pay out for students to go to these schools. Uh, we have helped some students ourselves our, through our business already um, gain scholarships at Erskine College um, where one student was offered $28,000 to go. Um, another lady, I'm not sure what her scholarship level was and a, a group of about four players that play Call of Duty in Columbia were also being offered scholarships. So this is a very real thing and there are schools popping up not the schools that are popping up, but the programs at those schools are popping up everywhere now. Um, so we are here to help with, again, the, e the high school level esports to help students increase their level of gameplay, get exposure to competition. And um, that way, when they go to the college level, they've gotten that exposure, they've gotten the coaching, they're not sitting there all of a sudden saying, oh my goodness, I need to learn how to be coached. I need to learn how to play in a team where they may not have done that before because they're gamers and they may not be athletic. So they spend their time casually playing games at home instead of going out and playing like baseball or something. And so they've not been in that organized team sport world. So that's what we are working on as an organization. So anybody that has coaching experience is a very um, coveted asset for us right now too. So I thank you for listening. I thank you for your time. I don't take this lightly that you guys have um, selected us to be part of this career exposure um, career day and uh, I hope that you've learned something today and I hope that this is uh, a, a way that you might be able to use your passion for gaming to earn an income in the future whether that is with the coaching side whether that's the player side whether that's graphic design um, all sorts of things I am going to send a couple of um, materials electronically to the to the teacher here showing like the d designs aspect of it and that sort of thing as well if he wants to share that with you guys so again thank you very much you all have a wonderful time um staying home i hope and staying healthy thank you very much